Hey, I'd like to welcome you back to my video podcast called Keep Growing. And today we're going to continue where we left off last week talking about um, growing in our faith. And today I want to tell you a story um, about a home improvement project that I was working on. Um, in last August, Rachel and I bought a house. And when we bought our house, we decided that our home motto um, for building for our property and stuff would be to never stop improving. We stole it directly from Lowe's. I always loved the Lowe's commercials where the guy, the fans falling down and everything. And they, you know, talk about fixing up your property and never stop improving. So we decided that that would be our goal for our house. It was really great because we bought a house that really didn't need any work. So right off the top, we weren't buried in repairs. All we had to do was just do the bare, you know, minimum, just the, the simple little fixes that are required, um, you know, like fixing a door handle when it breaks or, you know, fixing a toilet when it breaks or something like that. So nothing needed to be done when we moved in. So we decided that whenever something broke, we were going to try to fix it as soon as possible. And so um, we had this idea of co to continue improving, to never stop improving. And so we, we you know, we're trying to just um, make the house better instead of letting the house get get worse. And so we started this project recently and we're going to um, take out a part of a wall and we've been repainting, putting up a, a chair rail. And so I started working on um, putting up this trim board, uh, a chair rail, kind of a trim board. And so I went down to the store, bought some trim, picked out what I wanted to use and painted it, cut it all to the right lengths. And I'm not a carpenter, but you know, I know how to do some things. So it, it wasn't like I've never done it before, but it's not something I do all the time. So I got home, I cut all the trim boards. Uh, all my cuts were actually right, which was great. Put them all up. And then I nailed up a couple boards and it, and they it right on a corner board. And I ran into a problem. They didn't match. And so I had bought two pieces of trim board that looked exactly the same. But when I put them up to each other, they were a different height, which wouldn't have mattered except for that they were joining right together in the corner. So it looked absolutely horrible. So I went back down to the store and I, and, and I took the piece with me and I went back down to the store to buy another piece. And as I came back and I put that one up, it turns out they were a different thickness. So they were not the same uh, thickness. Um, and so I had to go back a third time to the store to buy another board in order to get them the same thickness and cut them, painted them, put them back up. So three times I'm out getting my saw back out, um, remeasuring it, cutting it, putting it up until I finally got it right. You know what? It's hard work to keep improving. It's hard work to keep your property up. It's hard work to continue to grow in your faith. It doesn't just happen automatically. It requires hard work. And when we do things that we haven't done before, you know, if God's working on you and he's trying to teach you forgiveness and you're not good at that, it's hard work to do it. It takes effort. There's a learning curve. You know, sometimes it takes a time investment. You're going to make some mistakes while you're working at it. And uh, it, it's going to be hard. And you know what? The alternative is a lot worse. The alternative is that we wouldn't improve. Uh, that we would actually get worse. Because what happens when you buy a house and you don't make the improvements? Well, the house falls apart. You know, when we were looking at buying a house, we looked at all kinds of houses that were great a few years ago, but had totally fallen apart because nobody was taking care of them. And so the alternative is, if you don't keep improving, if you don't keep growing in your faith, you kind of, you just start get, getting worse. You lose your fire. You lose your passion for God. Uh, instead of growing in grace and growing in mercy and growing in forgiveness and growing in good works, you start to, uh, you start to, to fall apart. So for me, uh, as I think about this idea of continuing to grow, the great news is I don't have to be a master carpenter. I have a source that I can go to, um, to, to, to grow. And in that case, when we talk about our faith, you know, we got to go to the word of God. Maybe we don't know how to do all these things, but there's a way for us to learn how to be strong in our faith, how to grow in our faith. And that's to get in the word of God. And I love what Philippians chapter one and verse six says, it says this, let me read it. I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. So I'm certain of this, that God who began a good work in you will continue his work until it's finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. So here's the thing, 
keep improving. Let God keep improving you. Put in your effort that's necessary to keep improving. It requires an effort. It requires a learning curve. It requires you to read stuff in the Bible, to open it up, you know, to tear it apart and say, I don't understand what it means. Well, I better start working at it. I better start reading it. I better start studying it because I have to keep, I have to keep improving. And I have to go to God and say, God, how are you going to help me improve in this area? How are you going to help me improve in that area? You know, when I th we think about it, sometimes we become overwhelmed because we say, I have so far to go. But Zechariah chapter 4, verse 10, when they were rebuilding the temple, um, and, and God said this about Zerubbabel, who was rebuilding the temple. He said, do not despise the day of small beginnings. For the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hell hand. And that's in Zechariah um, chapter 4, verse 10. And so it's really cool. God doesn't say, you know what, you're going to all of a sudden become perfect now that you're a Christian. No, this is what he's saying. He's saying, you know what, I'm going to help you grow and I'm going to start a good work in you and I'm going to keep working on you. I'm going to keep helping you to improve. What does that mean? We got to be the willing vessel. And so what are you doing to grow today? What are you doing to improve today? What are you letting doing today to let God help you grow in forgiveness, to grow in grace, to grow in faith, to grow in good works, to grow in service. You know, are you are you praying? Are you asking God for that? Are you putting into practice the things that he's teaching you? Are you listening to sermons? Are you reading your Bible? Are you getting to church? Are you in fellowship with a small group or a Bible study so that you can make sure that you're growing in your faith? Here's what I want to tell you to do. Don't stop improving. Don't stop growing in your faith. Don't let there go six months where you're just stagnant, where you haven't prayed with a friend, where you haven't been in your Bible, where you haven't been studying something. Don't stop because your house is going to fall apart. We all know people whose house has fallen apart. Now they need a roof. Now they need a door. They need so many things. They're, they're just depressed and they're ready to fall apart. No, just each day continue to grow in the Lord and God who began a good work in you will carry it on until it, he's finished with the work that he's done. So I just want to thank you for listening today and encourage you, do something to grow today. Listen to the word and put it into practice. Let God complete the good work that he started in you. Don't worry if you mess up, just try again. Cut another board, go back to the shop, buy another board, read another scripture, just keep working. Uh, let God transform you into a new creation. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Keep growing.